Hello, my name is Jeff Perry, and I'm the Core Exams and Curriculum Product Manager at Capita Sims. Today we will be looking at a powerful, underused feature in Sims, Student Lists. Our quick lists allow you to easily view and print lists of information about students without having to create complicated reports. Let's take a look. So, you can access quick reports from anywhere within the SIM system. It is easy just to go to Reports, Student List, Class List. I can see all my classes by simply selecting My Classes. I'm interested in my Reg group, um, my, my tutor group that I want to work with. And so I can uncheck all of them and then select that group. OK, and it takes me in and it shows me all the students that are in the tutor group. I know their date of birth, so I can actually remove that one. I can remove their year 11 group. And I want to construct a list of the activities at the end of the exams, the leisure activities. And the three choices are sailing, golf, and riding. So I want to be able to put some columns in to provide that. Going to the right hand side, I've got a data area which I can actually access basic details. The drop down provides me with a whole set of other fields that I can include. And at the bottom, we have blank fields. Those areas give you different widths of columns. And I'm going to choose medium, I can drag it across. And I can drag another two very quickly on to the report. Now, I want to change those headings. So I can change that heading by highlighting, putting in and clicking on rename. I can then type in the actual column name. To print those lists off, I can go in to print options and add a page at the end of each list. I can preview it. And there it is. It produces four pages. You saw it as it went through. It doesn't quite all fit onto that page. But no worries. We can go back to the print options and change the page setup to landscape. Click OK. Preview it. And there it is. It fits neatly onto the landscape page. To print from there, we would simply go to the normal print area. I hope you found it useful. To see more Did You Know videos, please visit our website or YouTube channel. If you'd like to suggest a topic for the video, then please send your ideas to us via email or on Twitter. Thank you for watching.